Good morning, folks. I do hope you caught this morning's bombshell from the AGU. We covered the paper yesterday, but this morning we demonstrated just how vital that study is for electroquake science, earthquake forecasting, and for those who prefer a more electrical way of thinking about the universe. As you might have noticed during this extended solar sequence here, our star has been completely silent. Coming to spaceweathernews.com reveals a zoom back out in 193 angstroms. Sunspot group, or what's left of it, is departing to the right, still no solar flares. Back here at Earth, the solar wind has undergone a very minor intensification today, mostly in the speed index. Geomagnetic conditions remain calm in this minor stream. We are watching the coronal hole on approach. Between it and Jupiter's close approach to Earth in a few days, the weeks-long large earthquake drought should end this week. Solar wind from this equatorial opening is due at Earth next weekend. Coming next to one of the world's best volcanoes for tourists, it's in the South Indian Ocean. It has produced an incredible and not too dangerous display for onlookers. Numerous hotspots exist around this geologic hotspot for this exact reason. We're taking a big jump next out to the Milky Way scale and are going to discuss the Fermi bubbles, the purple north-south lobes coming from the active nucleus at the center of the Milky Way, shining brightly in X-rays and gamma rays. Well, this new paper looked at the UV spectrum and discovered interesting profiles of the material emitting at that lower energy. They were determined to be high-velocity clouds, which might logically implicate that the structure of the Fermi bubbles is continually fueled rather than a remnant from something long ago, still technically an open question in science. Lastly here, folks, it seems that when all searches for dark matter fail and observations of the real universe continue to conflict with your models, you start thinking up things like this. By the way, these Midwest institutions are top tier when it comes to physics, especially Chicago, and so, FYI, more for a chuckle than anything else, they hypothesize there could be a dark matter that is quarkish, which makes it normal matter, by the way, which exists in the form of nuggets that are 10 to the 10 grams packed into 10 to the negative of two centimeters. On Earth, that would be more than two million pounds in something one-tenth of one millimeter across. Is this better or worse than dark matter? It's definitely funnier. Anyway, watch this morning's video if you missed it. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 2.35 p.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.